Steam gentlefolk of Earth, welcome back to a long enemy within war. Now the plan was to just end on the on the loading screen, but unfortunately my video suddenly started lagging really bad and I had to I had to delete it. It was completely unwatchable. Anyway, I, I'm going to do what the, you've probably seen absolutely everyone else do. If you feel like everyone else has been doing what I'm about to describe, that's because you're right. Which is to set up at the end of uh, of a video and then start the next video on the mission. Now the reason for this is that uh, as we start getting promotions and get more um, more perks I'm probably gonna start talking a lot about uh, what perks I take when I when I rank my people. I'm gonna rank my people when I send them out on missions and uh, I think I'm gonna pick a lot of things that are be gonna be a little bit confusing to some people. Just as an example uh, there's a class that I take steadfast on now that sound you just heard was someone else's head just exploding. But I think I have my reasons, I think I have some pretty good reasons for it, and I'd like to, to go into detail about it, but not at the beginning of a video, but at the end of one. So this is hopefully the last time I'm gonna start a video by talking a lot about something that isn't the map. Because let's quickly go over this map, this is a UFO map, this is the, the bar map. And I absolutely love this map. I really, really like this map, and I'll explain why. Uh, you can pretty much see the end here. It's possible to get contact here, but even if you do get contact here, you can at least, you know, hug some cover over here. Uh, but other than that, your first priority is to breach this building. And as you can see here, there's a, a slight area here where you can uh, set up and this door has a window in it so this doesn't conceal anything but this door doesn't so this area in here you can actually sneak up on so this is a a breach map that even has a ladder here where you can crawl up sneak up on the roof check the roof a and b sneak up on the roof and use a door back here to assist the assault here so it start, starts off as a breach fairly straightforward simple easy breach that's the first half of the map. Then the second half of the map, where the UFO is, down here, is almost like a field with a bunch of low cover. So it gets a lot harder. And uh, in the second half, the bonus you have is that you have this roof for uh, for snipers and for LMG gunners, which does give high ground. This is not that important for LMG gunners. It's important for the re reaction shot, but not for their for their suppression. But uh, what it is good for for an LMG gunner is vision, because when you're standing down here, for instance, your vision is gonna be pretty limited because you're in high cover. But when you're up on a building, you can see everything. Apart from this, though, it means that the map starts easy and it's difficult, and I really like that. Now, why do I talk about LMG gunners when I haven't brought any gunners? Well, it's because I think I I, I really value the LMG. I was pretty hard on it at first, but uh, I've come to really value it. I really like it, so I'm like, I'm St. Paul and the LMG is Jesus, uh, except better. Well, at least for the beginning. Later on, when uh, when Gunners start getting some later tier perks, the saw might be better, but uh, for now I'm gonna, I'll defend the LMG, damn it, even when it is completely irrelevant. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we're gonna get contact immediately. And we're gonna do that with a rookie because... I want my solid troops ready to respond. Affirmative. Alien object in sight. Okay, I melt. Which I might decide to rush for. But this seems to indicate that we won't see anything at all. Except maybe down here. So this means we can get a bit rush greedy. The reason I'm dashing is I'm trying to gonna get I'm trying to get the melt. When the melt is this uh, early on a mission, it's usually three turns before it breaks. Now the sniper is gonna move Aye, here. I'm on the move. Pistol Overwatch in Beta 13 isn't that good because of the, the range penalty on, on pistols. So 
I don't really know which is better to overwatch with anymore. I really don't. Three turns left, at least. This is three or higher. It's very slow. That's three or higher. So we have some time to push in here. Now, do I send you in here? Or do I sneak up here with you? Well, I would like to, to clear the roof before we assault this, just to make sure that there aren't any drones up here, because as you see now, drones, they can be terrifying. So I think my assault is gonna take a rookie with her up to assault the roof. And then we're gonna put him in a shooting position. The rocketeer in a rocketeering position. Moving. The sniper just has to see whatever she can. And this rookie is gonna support the breach here. Heading there now. Roger, I've got my eyes on. That was with the shotgun good. That's probably out in the in the big area. Sound like it was here. Two turns left, so I could try to, to sneak around, but I would like this melt because I've, I've sacrificed a lot. Uh, but that requires us to to make some decisive moves. Now you can actually take melt on a run and gun. It is possible. So, we don't have to go all the way up to it. That's affirmative. So many doors. <laughs> no, sadly, our other rookie can't make it there. So we'll open this door, and if there is something there, she has a full move to respond to it. Nothing. Affirmative. That's affirmative. Now, as this door is closed and we haven't seen anything, I'm going to assume that it's safe to move in here because there is concealment. They can't see through here from up there. So this should be okay. safe. She can grab it next turn. Let's not get greedy. No need to get greedy. Headed there now. We'll take what the game gives us. I would like to use her to help me clear this roof, which is our next objective. This hole is clear. I, there could be something over here, but uh, we'll take that once we have the roof. I'm on it, Commander. So push him back here. This is no longer a danger zone. This is. And I want my infantry ready for that. In a good position. Okay. Move her back. Hmm, right, right out here, maybe. Think they might be right there, actually. So before I pull her back, I think we should check that. It's immediately clear, but that that leads me to want to leave my my shotgunner very close. I think I'll send my two rookies up here. Affirmative. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah, she's packed with all this crap. That's gonna slow you down. Position confirmed. I 
let's see what we find. Nothing so far. Let's try to sneak further on the roof here. I'm on the move. Now, as we've already seen this out here with these two up here, I think this should be safe, this Position corner. Confirmed. This way we have a rocketeer ready to support down the alley. Should I move him up here? Well, I could, but I don't want to. I definitely want my sniper up here, that's for sure. But if I dash here, I might see something, so let's not dash. It's not that no need to to rush. Orders confirmed for moving out. He says and dashes, but I'm gonna move him up here to support her. Oh, where do I put you? And it done. Her job right now is to just cover this down here. Oh, oh they are there. Okay. You hear that? Take a peek over here. See if the sniper area is clear. Nope. Four little sectoids. Ooh, thirty percent split. That's not so good. So we're definitely gonna move our. Shotgun are away from this position if we're gonna start rocketing. Ah, oh, just one tile off this flank. That's such a shame. Now I could run and gun her down here and take the flank shot and keep her reasonably concealed. They will have a hard time finding her. If she's here, again, just one tile short. <laughs> that's, you know, that's the thing with these items and with the armor and everything. You say, well, one more mobility, you know. What's it really worth? This is what it's worth. Using this or not using this. So don't underestimate it. And obviously I'm not gonna move this way because if I trigger something else on a run and gun dash, she's dead. Satisfying sound in the universe. Got it. Again, he has eight health. He's the beefiest guy, so he's gonna take the riskiest position. And Overwatch to hopefully deter them from following our our shotgun here. I think I'm gonna put these heading to that location just to be ready and then hunger them. No, that's not what I asked you to do. I want you to notice what just happened. I clicked here, and instead she ran up here. For no reason. That's not what I asked her to do. I pressed here, but the game decided, no, I pressed here. And the game was sure I pressed here. This is one of those situations to talk about where I would actually consider safe scumming. Because that's just, I'm about to lose a soldier because of a bug. However, I think they might not want to go and kill her. They don't know about her. So we'll risk it. I, I accept your challenge, game. Do your worst. Okay. Now, normally I would always steady my sniper, but she already has the high ground advantage. I'm just gonna hunger, because she only has 5 health. <laughs> your move, Sectites. Okay, that's one. Who isn't attacking my uh, my rocketeer? Two who isn't? Who aren't? Sorry. And the third one is probably an Overwatch. Who the hell is flanking you? Wh wait, where's my cover? Oh, the pistol blew it up. Oh, I haven't seen that in Long War for a while. That's really interesting. Okay, so one of them is probably an Overwatch. The guy we can't see. 
So what you're gonna do is scout. What if I trigger someone else? That's just tough luck. Solid copy. No. Moving. Where is the third one? Because again, this is a really easy flank. From here, but I'm probably gonna take overwatch if I do it. But you have to move. And this is concealment, so he has to be sitting right in this area for the overwatch. But he could also be over here, planning a little flank of his own. And if I stand here, I think this is gonna block my shot, so I have to move here. Oh, can the sniper see anything? Oh, she can see the rear guy! Go for it! Well, that was a 50-50. That's too bad. I could also just blow the shit out of them. You know what I'll do? I'll move here, and if I see the the, se the last sectile flanking me from over here, I'm gonna pull him back and rock it. That's affirmative. Eighty-eight percent hangana. Pretty good odds. He's gonna have a lot, uh, a very high chance of hitting her because of the the range bonus. And as a result, I don't think he's gonna shoot her, so she can do the Overwatch for us because she only has 40% to hit, and that leaves the 55 with a shot. Every mission. God damn you, Mr. Bolsey Boss Sectoid, hitting someone in low cover because of course you are. That's what Sectoids do. They hit thing in low cover. <sighs> well, Mr. Hit Thing Sectoids, meet Miss Buckshot. Profitable meeting. Aye, aye, Commander. Yeah. See, this is what happens if you keep leaving your troops in low cover. You get like, oh look, high ground bonuses, oh these are so good, and then you forget that he's just gonna move up, dodge both overwatches, and just shoot you. Of course he is. And I know he's gonna do that. Will do. So yeah, that was an unnecessary risk. But... Moving to position. No, no but. Just... Bad job, mom. Don't do that. Steady the rockets here. Now we can steady our sniper. And again, as long as they aren't triggered, the enemies, we can overwatch from the high ground. It's fine. I want to reload my shotgun. I have so many shots in a shotgun. Time to push forward. Heading out. I'm on the move. That's affirmative. Make sure these pillars are lined up to the sniper because if they're on one line, they block the least amount of revision and percentage. So this means she can see as much as possible of this. That's 
the outsider. We'll leave him for last. Hopefully we can find the, the remaining pod, because there's most likely a sectoid pod somewhere. Now again, they could actually be in here. That's definitely possible. Let's let's clear this first. I'm on it, Commander. Aye, aye. Get Miss Buckshot up here. Put the infantry on the door, of course. Roger, tracking. And keep these just looking out here so we're sure nothing nothing bad's gonna happen. Hopefully. Oops, that should have been a study. Yes, you're an outsider, big and scary, I know. You'll have to wait. We'll go. Mm, we can actually put someone on the roof to drop down on the other side of the building. That might be good. I guess she has this area covered now, so we can put our rockets here. Aye, aye. Here. Roger that. covering now. I'm on it. Roger that. <laughs> I've never tried a mission where there were only four sectoids and an outsider, so I'm just gonna assume there's another part. Could be another part, it could be in here. On my way. Or up here. I would have seen it with the sniper. It's not up here. No way. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I'm on it. Got it, got it. Our flanker is over here, our shotgun is over here, so obviously if we trigger something, we want them to be running away from this door. No luck in the first attempt, let's try to jump down here. To that location. Nope. Area secure. This way we'll avoid any nasty surprises if the patrol suddenly decides to show up later. Solid copy, Commander. Got it. It's killing time. Let's rock. Rock and, load it. and again, because they haven't patrolled into me aye, aye. for the last eight turns or so, I'm assuming they won't do it now and I'm gonna take the, this opportunity to reload. Which Like this. Heading out. Moving out. Rolling. Aye, aye, Commander. I feel it. Overwatch. I am. Sadly, the sectoids aren't making any noise, or whatever is left. It could be a drone pack as well. So we have no chance of knowing where they are. Now, here's the UFO. Try to sneak closer to it. Heading out. The outsider could potentially be here, but now we know he's not, so we can clear this area a lot safer. That's affirmative. And be a lot safer. On the move. Move a rocket here into a better position. Understood. Moving out. On my way. The sniper is exactly where she needs to be. on the right side of the UFO, so we should move this way now. If we want to approach the UFO, of course. Now, the other pack might actually be inside the UFO. Aye, aye, Commander. Yeah, 
Yes, it very well so could be. Wow, that would be irritating. Moving out. Something I didn't mention last mission, and I probably should have touched on this mission as well, is that I haven't brought any smoke grenades. And I think that might be a big mistake. Because against the aim of outsiders, you... And actually, also, sort of against drones, if you're gonna take a long-range firefight, you really want smoke grenades to give you an edge. So I'll try, try to incorporate that next time. Seeing as the sectoids aren't interested in coming up to us, what we're gonna do is breach the UFO. This, again, as far as I understand, is gonna make them approach the UFO. That's affirmative. And we'll get them then. And now we have a Moving. smooth line to what's the UFO. Moving to designated coordinates. That's affirmative. Skirt around under the protection of the sniper. Just in case the sectoids do decide to show up. Yes, right there, probably. But I'm not gonna find out until everyone is ready. Heading there now. Understood. Moving out. Especially my uh, my assault, who is the main control in this fight. The sniper is probably not going to help against the outsider. She's going to help against the sectoids. They're probably on the left. I would imagine. Now, since since he can't take two shots no matter what, he might as well be the one to trigger the outsider. I'm on the move. ET in sight. Engaging. Yes, that yes. looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have been generated to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. It's fine, Shen. You worry too much, dude. Okay, we can... We can nade him from here. We can also try and do a... No, we can't. I wanted to rocket this, but it's not gonna happen. Now I can always flank him with Miss Buckshot, which is really good control. I could also blow a hole in this and let the sniper get a shot, but I might damage this thing and I don't want to do that. So I think what I'll do is the same as last time. Try to blow this thingy up. Or should we just save this and do Going in for the kill. I'm just gonna answer real quick. We will. Now, the sectors could be back here or back here or something like that. So this is probably safer. Because it's gonna give me cover to what's what will be the remaining part of the map. Whereas this might be flanked from here. So that's why I'm gonna move here. Turns out there were no sectoids, but you never know. Yeah, you would do that. But it's fine. I have a grenade, so I can just kill him. So we have no problems, but just to try and avoid that, we'll just try and shoot him. Because of the damage reduction, I'm just gonna put it a little bit closer to him than normally. Just to make sure that he dies. Or make fairly sure that he dies. Can never be 100% with these HEs. Please die. Operational objectives completed. Whoa. 
one pot of four. I mean, I guess the first time we had two pots of two, so it wasn't true I'd never seen it, but one pot of four. Why are these missions so easy? They used to be seven. I'm so confused. But, okay, I'll take it. Now let's see if you get promoted even if you don't get kills on UFO missions. I guess so. Interesting. Quite interesting. Oh yes, two Lance Corporals. Excellent. And two more promotions of Rookies. And yeah, busted those up. Which is fine, I need the cash for scopes. So it's no problem. Oh, and uh, an intact power source. I might actually sell this for a scope. I have nothing to use this for for months and months. So I might. I might. Just gonna drink some delicious, delicious juice. Magnificent. So right now I'm just waiting for alien weaponry. So there's nothing really to do. Until we get that. Oh! That was quick. Commander. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Okay. The illness mean business this time. So, let's let's prepare a really good team. So, three people who haven't been promoted. That means we're at 22 already. We have promotions for this month, that is more than enough. So what I'll try to do now is get some people into the high ranks. We're back soon, sort of soon. So we can put some more people in sick bay. What I'm considering is I'm going to fatigue my infantry, I think, to boost this experience. I'm gonna bring the gunner for sure. And I don't know. The gunner is given. That way we also bring our support items. I could make another scout. Which I think I will. I have an affinity for scouts still. Even though they got nerfed, they're still pretty good. Salt as well. I think I will. Let's get the shotgun pros running. This is a good setup for an assault. Something I like to touch on is that um, in Enemy Unknown, I used to run with two assaults. Uh, and for a while, the enemy would win as well. I use two assaults because I feel that uh, one thing that's better than one shotgun is actually having a pair of shotguns supporting each other. Uh, now since I can only bring one of each class, this means the scout is going to be the second one. He brings the lightning reflexes and this guy brings the damage. I think that uh, having this pair, one scout, one assault, as of your breaches is a really, really solid combo. And hopefully I'll get to show this uh, in this mission. Now this is actually a corridor with vehicles, which is not a very good map for these guys. Well, that definitely means LMG and a sniper. But I only have one person. Guess you're on fatigue duty. So do I bring these anyway? Well, we need someone to scout for the sniper and the gunner. Might as well be these guys. Roadway. Something with long range. Well, 
infantry are good at long range. Rocketeers are good at long range. Yes, yes, we could get another Rocketeer. Let's do that actually. Yeah, that makes sense. Oops, change that, never change that. Here we go. Alrighty, we have our Breachers and our close combat specialists. These are going to be the scouts. And if they try to get too close to our ranged, they're just going to get shredded by the buckshot. This guy is our clutch defense, and then we need some solid long range damage, which is going to be the infantry. Now, for the infantry, Choosing the Lance Corporal perk has always been kind of a bugger for me because I never really knew what I wanted. I, I knew I didn't want this because the infantry isn't there to to finish things off. He's there to set things up. Steadfast is generally not a very good perk because yeah, this is okay, but it's not that important. But the thing is, I absolutely despise covering fire. Now, covering fire gives three aim. Which is good for an infantry as two shots. Three M is really good for infantry. The thing is that I feel that you're wasting your Overwatch shooting at people in high cover, not aliens, but people. Yes, people and aliens, exalted aliens. When they're in high cover, it's just a waste of Overwatch. He's getting opportunities later. I want him to take shots on Overwatch to kill, not to just waste ammo. I think it's a waste of ammo. I'd rather he just save that shot. So I can decide where it goes. I don't like covering fire. I don't like the way it operates. So I've shunned away from this. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I will really try and explain this. Because a lot of people are going to disapprove of what I'm about to say. But I used to take Steadfast on infantry all the time. There's a short reason and a long reason. The short reason is that the infantry, I always give them a good position. It's where they can shoot at everything. Because they have high damage but they have to stand to use it, stand still, and they have short range, or they don't have squad side. This means they have the best position in town, and I don't want that position to panic, because A, it's going to lose me the best position, and B, it's going to chain to everyone. Everyone can see him, everyone is going to get a panic roll. But more importantly, this is the main reason I used to do it, and st would still do it if I didn't promise to try this, is that I'm going to put this guy as a squad leader, uh, as an officer. And as an officer, the first thing he gets is uh, a choice between two things, but he automatically also gets the ability to use his will to buff everyone else's will. If his will is higher than people in the squad, they will use his will to roll panic rolls instead of their own. And I think it also works on psionic abilities, including the ethereal psionic abilities. So because of this, this five will is normally pretty bad. But when it's on an officer, it's five will spread to the entire team. So unless he has really bad will rolls, this is actually going to buff the squad some will, at least five, probably more, unless they are all prime at uh, max rank. So this is a really good early perk, and it, it scales because he's an officer. Now, why do I like infantry as officers? Because some. Uh, officer promotions affect the whole squad and some affect areas and since he's in the middle of everything he's gonna affect as many people as possible for this reason I don't like this and this is really good as an officer I actually prefer steadfast on infantry and I haven't seen anyone else do this but I used to pick it and I would have picked it if I hadn't promised to try this so that's the reason this works for me you're welcome to flame me in the comments. <laughs> but I will use Covering Fire on this. Again, Hangana is the king of Overwatch. So if anyone needs Covering Fire, it's him. Alright. I think we're ready. Again, this is a bit of a gamble on a roadway map. But I think it will work. We have some solid bag up here. And I have my battle scanner and my smoke grenades. I think this can work. I think this can work. Let's find out. Dropship 
has arrived. The next deployment site is in the UK. Okay, it's this Current map. updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. Oh, we should get down God. there and secure the area as quickly as we can. Really? Again? <sighs> Fine. 